Well, I'm sure you'll be familiar with the Pink Ladies, Barbie and the Pink Panther. We're about to introduce you to a local lady who blows all of them out of the water, Lisa Fernandez. Not Lisa who blows them out of the water, but you found someone who is literally, entirely, <laughs> completely, absolutely pink. Tim, I'm in Kim's Pink Palace. <laughs> Good morning, Kim. Good morning. Look, the... Just have a look around. We are in, in what, the, the living room of your pink palace? Yeah, in the front lounge room. This is amazing. Kim's whole house is pink. She loves the colour pink. But what's also interesting is that Kim has crafted a lot of this stuff with her own hands. Kim, how, how many years of work's gone into this? Oh, at least a good 14 years. All right, we're going to tour Kim's pink palace right after this, Tim. Back to you. Put some Any pink girl who loves too, pink Lisa. is going to be in heaven right now. <laughs> Pink. Oh, I'm said. not even wearing pink. The only thing, pink, pink thing I've got in my thong. I'm surprised you're allowed in the front door. <laughs> I'm going to get the pink thing. Let's go back to Lisa Fernandez now, who's uh, in the pink palace this morning. <laughs> Lisa, I almost can't look at the screen. It's too pink. <laughs> oh, look. Tim, we met Kim at a Pink Palace before, and now I'm going to take you guys for a tour through. All right, Kim. Okay. How long did it take you to amass all of these pink items? I'd say a good 14 years. 14 yeah. years. Yeah. Just, I'll get our camo to pan around for us. Have a look at that. This whole place, we're in the kitchen area now. This is sort of kitchen lounge room, and it is all totally pink. But what I'm noticing, Kim, talk to me about some of these items here, like the beautiful crystals. Yes. They've got to be... Um... That's one of my favourites. I got that from a special shop out at Applecross, and yeah, that's definitely one of my favourite chandeliers. And the other thing is, you have cr created yourself a lot of the stuff in, in I the I have. House. Whatever I um, buy and it's not pink and I like it, I'll paint it pink. So I get the pink that I want. And what about like the curtains and stuff? You make all that? Um, yeah, I do make the curtains. I didn't make those, but I do make curtains if I can't find the ones I want. And what special items can you point out to me in your kitchen? Well, I just had a birthday and my husband bought me a KitchenAid pink blender and that has to be the <laughs> favourite of the whole house because my husband went out of his way and went into the shop and actually bought something pink for me for the first time ever. How does he feel living in the pinkest house in the world? You know what? As long as he gets fed, I don't think it, he, it worries him at all. Um, he gets um, plated up with food on a pink plate with pink knives and forks. <laughs> And I'm not joking. All right, can we have a look <laughs> at your living room area here? Absolutely. Because it just continues. The pinkness totally continues. And um, there is another little person in your home. Yes, there is. Um, not in pink, and no. that's your son, Joseph. Yes. We're just going to meet him for a moment. Hello, Joseph. Hi. Joseph, how old are you? 14. All right. As a 14-year-old young fella, how do you feel living in pink? Well, when I grew up, I... To me, this is just normal and whatever makes mum happy, I guess. Aww. <laughs> what colour is your room, by the way? I'm grey and black. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're surrounded by fellas, but you're yes, in the pink I am. house. It's a, yep. How much money, Kim, in all honesty, how much money would you have spent on this house? Well, um, I have a few expensive pieces, but mostly I do a lot of swap meets and um, uh, second-hand shops, and I don't believe it should cost a lot of money to have a pretty home. Have you ever gotten sick of pink? Uh, no. <laughs> We're going to be back, Tim. Uh, there's more, OK? Uh, there's more. We've got friends who are coming over and we're going to be having a pink high tea. As yes. you can see, just on the table over here, it's all been laid out for us. Uh, pink Lisa, everything. Don't forget the pink lemonade. OK. <laughs> we'll be back after 8.30 with the pink friends in the pink house with the pink high tea. Back Le to you, Tim. Lisa, is there a pink pet at all? I want to see a pink cat. Is there a pink pet? That's a good question. Tim wants to know. Not yet. Maybe by 8.30 yep. if we find the spray <laughs> can. Try find a pink cat somewhere. <laughs> Absolutely. I've got one uh. of those. <laughs>